petition that accused Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government of abusing its power and using central investigating agencies to harass its political rivals filed by 14 opposition parties was turned down by the Supreme Court on Wednesday, which called it too broad. The Supreme Court refused to entertain the petition of 14 opposition political parties alleging that the CBI and Enforcement Directorate were being misused by the center to act against opposition leaders. The court said, when you say that the space for opposition has shrunk, the remedy is in that space, the political space, not the court. The parties argued that 95% of the top political leaders facing ED and CBI cases are from the opposition. The Chief Justice of India asked their lawyer, Abhishek Singhvi, why political leaders should have a separate standing. Political leaders stand absolutely on the same standing as citizens of the country. They don't claim higher identity. How can there be a different set of procedures for them? If an individual comes to us, we dealt with it in one of your own cases. Then it will be confined to the facts of the case. In the absence of specific facts to lay down general guidelines, will be in danger. To which Singh we argued, where is the democracy if these people are fighting cases all the time? But seeing the court's refusal to entertain the plea, Singhvi finally sought permission to withdraw the plea. They ultimately did not entertain it, but did not express a single opinion on the merits. They allowed the matter to be withdrawn. They recorded that it's at this stage, which means that full liberty is there for us to come again on new facets, new grounds. The building blocks were felt to be too broad by the court at this stage. They involved a allegation of non-level, uneven playing field because 95% of all cases involve opposition leaders as far as the political sphere is concerned. As far as the legal aspect is concerned, this petition was doomed from the beginning. It is misconceived because political parties by themselves do not have fundamental rights. For the BJP, which has been at the receiving end of the opposition tirade for allegedly misuse of investigative agencies, the Supreme Court's refusal to entertain the opposition is welcome. Sabi Brahtachari ek manch parane ka prayas karte hai. Lekin ye janta mein bhi inka chehra benakab hua hai. Aur court mein bhi asliya jane ka mauka mila hai. The court was not ready to lay down guidelines on an omnibus petition based on statistics. Instead, it asked that it come back with a specific issue of a leader or others so that it can lay down guidelines of the possible misuse of the ED and CBI. In New Delhi, Sunil Prabhu, NDTV. And violence broke out in many parts of the country on the occasion of Ram Navami. In view of the violence on Ram Navami, the central government has become alert and the Ministry of Home Affairs has now issued an advisory regarding Hanuman Jayanti. In the advisory, all states have been asked to maintain law and order and all steps to be taken in this regard. After violence in Hooghly district and Hauraniya Kolkata in the past week, an appeal by West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee ahead of the Hanuman Jayanti celebrations on Thursday. সবাই শান্তিতে ভালো করে সব কিছু পালন করুন শান্তিতে পালন করলে কোনো অসুবিধে হয় না দিস অ্যাজ দ্য ক্যালকাটা হাই কোর্ট অর্ডার দ্য স্টেট गवर्नमेंट टू रिक्वायजेशन প্যারামিলিটারি ফোর্সেস ফর দ্য হনুমান জয়ন্তী सेलिब्रेशंस इन द स्टेट द ক্যালকাটা হাই কোর্ট অবজারভড दैट गिवन द ম্যাগনিটিউড অফ দ্য ক্রাউড ইনভলভড দ্য স্টেট মেশিনারি মে নট বি এবল টু ম্যানেজ এন্ড ইট ইজ বেটার ইফ দ্য স্টেট রিকুয়াইজেশনস প্যারামিলিটারি ফোর্সেস which is not to suggest failure of state machinery but to assist the state machinery chief minister mamata banerjee also appealed for calm after ram navmi violence in multiple states the union home ministry has issued an advisory urging states to maintain law and order with neeta sharma in new delhi and camera person gd shankar in kolkata saurabh gupta and tv and former veteran Congress leader Gulam Nabi Azad has hit out at his earlier party. That's Congress in an exclusive with NDTV, even claiming Prime Minister Modi has been more generous to him than even Congress. First of all, I would want to know what is your view on his disqualification. I have said that this is wrong. Hmm. I have said. You think it is wrong? It is wrong, but he is responsible for that. How? Because he tore off the uh, ordinance which oh, we want. Oh, 2013. Yeah, th that was this ordinance only. Hmm. Hmm. Don't do that. Hmm. 
So we were more foresighted than him. Hmm. We, we knew that it would be used against hmm. uh, Congress only one day. So hmm. it has been used. That time he supported that. This, hmm. Let it be used. Hmm. He said, let it be used. He said that. Let that this ordinance be used. Yeah. So, so now, hmm. why are you crying? Hmm. Uh, you said that the Congress's digestive system these days is very weak. Yeah, that's that true. They, don't, they do not digest criticism. Yeah. What would you have to say about the digestive system of the BJP? Well, the BJP does not have at all. Oh, so, BJP the, the, has no digestive the, system. They don't have the digestive <laughs> system. But the Congress was famous hmm. for absorbing the things. Hmm. Shock absorber. Hmm. Observer. So, that is reducing according that to That is you. now reducing. Any, any, any almost almost getting extinct. Any Hajmola, Pudin Hara, uh, nothing, nothing. That you think can work? No, no, nothing. There is to increase a, the digestion. No, as being ex health minister, mm. I have read too much mm. about uh, health <laughs> and uh, about uh, treatment that mm. I, nobody has come across so far mm. uh, with any medicine mm. or operation for this. You know, Mr. Azad, speaking of Mr. Modi, uh, you have a... Modi is not that generous. They read all the uh, record. Mm. No, but he has been very generous to you. For instance, on your last day, we saw that very emotional well, he has been generous. He has been generous in that and Congress has not been generous, unfortunately. He has been generous that in seven years, mm -hmm. I didn't attend his single party, single dinner party or any party, mm -hmm. unbecoming on my part, mm -hmm. unbecoming on my part, leader of opposition, not joining any function of prime minister. Mm -hmm. Uh, whatever a political differences, ideology, mm. on becoming on my part, he ignored that. Mm. Seven years as leader of opposition, I had, you see the record in the parliament, my speech from UT, you just open Gulam Nabi Azad in parliament. Yeah. In 70 years, so much speeches against the government mm. in the parliament as I have done. Mm but just ignore and behaved as a statesman. Gam is baat ka nahi hai ki wo bewafa nikla. Gam is baat ka nahi hai ki wo bewafa nikla. Afsos mehz itna hai ki usse kya samjha tha aur kya nikli. Aur joh wafa lutians dilli ke ek bangle ki mohtaj ho jaye, wo wafa kis kaam ki? वो कल जाती है आज जाए जिस नजरिए के खिलाफ जिस विचारधारा के खिलाफ 50 साल से जो आदमी लड़ रहा हो आज उसी नजरिए का ताबेदार बन जाए तो अफसोस तो सबको होता है and Union Minister and BJP leader Jyotir Aditya Sindhya launched a sharp attack on the Congress and took a dig at Rahul Gandhi, alleging Congress has been left with no ideology except the one of a traitor which works against the country. As a retort to Mr. Sindhya's comments, Congress leader Pawan Khera hit out by saying that Prime Minister Narendra Modi should be there of a man who did not stay loyal to his former party and will also not be loyal to him. जिस कांग्रेस पार्टी ने हमारे सैनिकों की वीरता पर प्रमाण मांगा है, जिस कांग्रेस पार्टी ने ये वक्तव्य दिया है कि हमारे सीमावर्ती इलाके पर चीन के द्वारा हमारे सैनिकों की पिटाई हुई है, ऐसी कांग्रेस पार्टी की कोई विचारधारा नहीं बची है, ऐसी कांग्रेस पार्टी की केवल एक विचारधारा बची है और वो विचारधारा है एक देश द्रोही की विचारधारा और देश की विरुद्ध कार्य करने की विचारधारा जिस घर में आपने इतने दशक गुजारे हो जिस घर ने आपको सब कुछ दिया हो प्यार दिया हो कद दिया हो पद दिया हो मोहब्बत दी हो पहचान दी हो उस घर और उस परिवार के खिलाफ जब कोई बोलता है तो उसका जवाब देना और माकूल जवाब देना and Telangana BJP chief Bandi Sanjay has been sent to jail for 14 days. That's to judicial custody. BJP has slammed the arrest as is illegal and police claim arrest was linked to paper leak. <laughs> 
High drama close to midnight. Telangana BJP chief and Karimnagar MP Bandi Sanjay was taken by the police from his home where he was attending the 10th day rituals after his mother-in-law passed away. For the next 16 hours, he was moved from place to place, changing vehicles periodically. From Bomalaramaram to Bonagiri to Aleru to Jangaon and Palakurti, finally presented in Hanumakonda court by evening 5 p.m. and sent to judicial custody for two weeks. Itano under ki gora ikani chhi matam spread out na tu mana kikara itano phone phone lo na twenty WhatsApp messages tu WhatsApp chat sorti. The remand report accuses Bandi Sanjay of conspiracy to defame the government over the tenth class paper leak, cause confusion and anxiety among students, create law and order problems, threatening the conduct of exams. This even as BJP protested against Bandi Sanjay's arrest and a habeas corpus was filed in the High Court. From J.P. Nadda to Union Minister Kishan Reddy, BJP leaders condemned what they called an illegal and undemocratic arrest. Illegally, without information, without notice, they arrested. Bandi Sanjay questioned the police, why you are arresting, what is the case, what is the issue, they don't know. The BJP campaign on the TSPSC exam paper leak followed by the 10th class exam paper leak has turned down the heat on the BRS government. Is this what BJP is trying to do? At the cost of 5 lakh SSC students, you want to play politics, dirty politics? Bandi Sanjay's arrest comes just three days before Prime Minister Narendra Modi is to come to Hyderabad on April 8 to announce multiple development projects and also literally kick off BJP's election campaign for the Telangana Assembly elections later this year. Just last year, the Prime Minister had publicly praised Bandi Sanjay for a very successful public meeting at parade grounds. In Hyderabad, the camera person Nagraju, Uma Sudhir, NDTV. And the United States has backed India against China's latest claims on Arunachal Pradesh. In fact, Prime Minister Modi has praised the work in the border village and snubbed China's latest move. For the second consecutive day, China laid claim to Arunachal Pradesh, justifying its effort to name parts of the state as its sovereign right. It's a claim that's been thoroughly rejected by New Delhi. Earlier after the latest Chinese effort on Monday to name parts of Arunachal, New Delhi had made it clear, we've seen such reports, it's not the first time China has made such an attempt, we reject this outright. Arunachal Pradesh has been and will always be an integral and inalienable part of India. Attempts to assign invented names will not alter this reality. The United States, a close strategic ally, has backed New Delhi. The, the United States, as you know, um, Lila, has, uh, has recognized that territory for a long time. And uh, we strongly oppose any unilateral attempts to advance uh, territory claims by renaming uh, localities. Uh, and so, uh, again, this is something that we have long stood by. Meanwhile, at a time when China has stepped up construction activity of villages along the Arunachal frontier, the Prime Minister today backed India's efforts to counter this, backing an effort by Arunachal Chief Minister Pema Khandu to empower those living in border villages. Vishnu Shom for NDTV. Well, former US President Donald Trump may be the first president ever to be charged in a criminal conspiracy case, but he has won against Stormy Daniel. In another case, Tommy Daniels. Tommy Daniels has lost the defamation case against Donald Trump. And in fact, Tommy Daniels has been ordered to pay Donald Trump legal fees to be, uh, and has to pay over $121,000 to Trump's attorney, according to the order. And former skipper Virat Kohli began his IPL campaign on a big note, stroking an unbeaten 82 versus Mumbai. In this shaping to be, is this shaping to be one of the best seasons for Kohli? My colleague Rika Roy questions his best mate, AB De Villers, former South African captain and RCB legend. This is one for all the Virat fans. It isn't uh, every day that we get to speak to you, but since we have got you here, I have to ask you about Virat Kohli, the difference 
you see in him from last season? Well, we haven't seen a lot of him this season yet. It's a very good start for him. So it's a big improvement of um, what we've seen the last couple of seasons. I think he, he might, if I have to pick something, he looks fresh and happy. He looks light on his feet with regards to his his energy and his spirit, you know, he just, he just looks like he's enjoying it and he's almost decided, you know what, I'm going to start putting pressure on myself and I'm just mm -hmm. going to have fun with my cricket. I'm not 25 okay. anymore. Who knows how long I'm going to play and I'm just going to have fun. It looks like he decided that um, he's, he's in a good place in his, in his life. Mm -hmm. He's got a wonderful family. Um, he's got a lot to be grateful for and I think he sort of just decided to um, flick that switch and decide to have fun with the, with the RCB team. He loves playing for RCB and he loves Bangalore and spending time there. And it shows at the moment. He looks fresh and happy to be back in India playing cricket here in the IPL. Now, we all know that Virat Kohli's energy is infectious. Since you have been in the dressing room with him, let me ask you, is it easy to keep him in the team and not make him the captain? Um, I, I think it's a good thing. I, it's got nothing to do with his captaincy. I think it's mm -hmm. a fantastic um, strategist and um, he's, he's really good with um, thinking about the game and analysing and, and lifting prior players up as a captain. But I think he's got even more to offer when he's just as he's now, when he, he looks relaxed and comfortable. He makes a lot of jokes where when he's captain, he's li a little bit more focused. There's not time to to be himself almost all the time. He's got to man-manage everyone. He's got to make sure the youngsters are happy, the senior guys. Then he's got to plan for a game. Then he's got to go and score runs. Then he needs to be post-match presser, tag on you when you're captain. And you almost got to be this formal, serious guy more often than not. Um, where now I feel he's just got time for everybody. He's mm -hmm. spending time with his teammates. Mm -hmm. He's got plenty of time to make jokes, to get to the gym and do stuff that he really enjoys doing. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's right. a difficult one to balance out. But there's a time and a place for everyone to say, you know what, I'm just going to leave the captaincy for a little while and just enjoy what I do. Now, A.B. Virat uh, began this IPL on a very big note, scored an 82 not out. Would you say that is one of his top five IPL knocks? Um, I, no, I, I wouldn't say okay. so. I think he's played better, better knocks um, around the 2016 period. Um, he, he was in the form of his life. He, he already scored 400s only in that one season that I think were all better than that 82 not out. So, um, and then there are plenty of others, um, very good chases um, that I can remember. So it was a very good knock and I think a really good start and a nice foundation for the season. Um, but I think there's a lot more to come and a lot better innings than we've, than we've seen. And that's all we have for you in this bulletin. Thank you for watching.